What's up, y'all? How is everyone doing? How are we all feeling today? Supreme Week 9. What's up, Chrono Knot, Bo, Jay's Supercharged GT86? Hell yeah, dude. Fucking love it, man. Appreciate you guys getting in here early. We got some stuff to talk about this week. I'm not going to lie, guys. This week is feeling like a skip for me. I've been marinating over it. I've been looking at the drop list. Pump that UGK player anthem. I think I'd get copy strike for that. Like, uh, copyright. Yeah, I don't think I can. What's up, Michael Taylor? Copping a quality stream for some vicarious bot battling. Nice, dude. Same going for Palace tomorrow. I haven't even looked at the Palace drop list. We will definitely look at that. Okay, that jersey's coming out. That's kind of sick. Palace looks pretty good. I wish the Palace drop lists were bigger. That's the one thing that Supreme will, I feel like, always have on Palace. It's like, they're always bigger. And is bigger always better? I think so. Sometimes. Going for fours. Jordan fours? There's also the Kith Columbia collaboration that I want to talk about. I was thinking about doing a video on it. Actually, kind of a cool drop list. I think the Kith Columbia collab is, is better than Supreme this week, honestly. Man, after that crap drop Palace had, I have tried to cop anything. You haven't tried to cop anything, do you mean? Industrial Blue 4 is right, that's right. Yeah. They kind of like Military Blue 4s, right? Industrial... Industrial Blue 4s. Let me look at these guys. Are these Military 4s or are they different? Are they a darker blue, maybe? Gotcha. Got you, Michael Taylor. Uh, the C, the Sega Boy. What are you going for, Supreme today? I'm really debating on copying anything. Like seriously, in terms of resale this week, it's kind of tough. And there's just not really much I want for personal, to be honest. Like the things I would cop. Like here's what I would cop if I, if I wanted to grab something for personal, it'd probably be a matching tracksuit. What's up, Jackie? FTP. Shout out to the members. Appreciate you, dude. If I had truly nothing to do with my money, I'd go for a synthesizer. That's just hilarious. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and the fours are different, called industrial. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about Jordans that are close to a retro colorway, but slightly different. Hey, Sega Boy, new subscriber. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Just sold my MM tanks for 125, bro. Fuck yeah. That's sick. You're set on the UGK hoodie and hat, says Craig Bangloy. Love that. Luis de la Cruz, what's up, baby? Big Step of City TV. Industrial Blue Fours. Okay. Okay. Shitty week for Supreme. Even the Kith drop Columbia as a pass, says Andrew. I'm kind of with you on that. I haven't taken a full look at the Columbia drop. I know a lot of people, I saw some discourse on Twitter talking about Kith and like how their, their like outdoorsy collabs and all their techware stuff isn't that great. And I guess that kind of makes sense because um, they're not really a techware company. They're just a streamer company that teams up with various collaborators. I don't know. It looks decent. Michael Taylor, low-key Nike, hired a new guy and he got the colors wrong. Yeah, dude, Nike, they're so, they go through cycles, man. And when they, when something gets hype and actually uh, starts banging, it seriously, um, they overproduce it, if that makes sense. Like they'll, they'll, they'll get on the ones, they'll make a 
bunch of really dope ones and then overproduce them to death and kill the colorway, kill the model in terms of like value, which is fine, I guess, but it's less exciting. And I feel like something similar is happening with fours. I don't know though, could be, could be wrong. Jackie FTP was watching Tim's VOD yesterday and saw you in the chat replay. No way. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Tim the Tapman fan for sure. Yeah, I watch, I watch a lot of Call of Duty streamers. That's probably my primary, like, source of content as I watch gaming streams and car content. I don't really watch much of what I do. I don't watch a lot of streetwear supreme YouTube, but I think that's all right. Marquise Crown Kit Stevens. What's good fam? What you copping? Bro, I'm debating on copping nothing. Like I'm probably gonna get nothing. We're gonna see though. We can take a look at the drop list here. Take a look. Some F1 racing. Yeah, dude. I mean, I watch F1 pretty much live as much as I can. I, I will watch occasionally some uh, content from different uh, channels. I don't usually watch like the highlights and stuff. I like to watch the whole race. But there's definitely a lot of cool racing content on YouTube. But here's a drop list if you guys haven't already seen it. Definitely some cool things. Like there's not, you know, there's never in my opinion a week that's absolutely devoid of anything worth copying. I think there's always something you can grab if you really want it. But you also have to look at it like this, like were these items kind of on your radar before this week? Were you thinking about the cotton utility anorak before? I think this is a really solid item. I think this guy has some potential to resell especially in this purple plaid colorway. It's got a little box logo on there. And in terms of an anorak, 178 bucks isn't too bad at all. I think this guy will do pretty, pretty well, but you never know. I think probably the best thing to go after, like if you were just wanting something cool to wear, is the curved track jacket. I think this guy with matching shorts is pretty sick especially this one this guy could actually do really well i want the sticker so i'm gonna grab something that's a good point the week that has different tees generally sees various stickers we can look at uh, supreme drops and see what kind of stickers are coming out this week because we should see some people that have gone in store already Here's some of the stickers right there. I actually think the Margaret Keane stickers are pretty sick. Same with the Supreme Records, not too bad. Not too bad. Synthesizer stuff. It's definitely collectible. I don't think it's worth the price. Kind of had someone answer my question on the chat or on the in the comments of the drop list video. Like, you know, if you're a real music producer, you're probably you probably have something better or you can just use your computer. But for collectability, I think it's pretty neat. Chrononauts waiting on the AOI drop. A lot of people like that AOI jacket. It is pretty cool. There are definitely a lot of cool things still left to come out. I wanna make sure I have the right screen share up. What do I want? New Supreme Community, I think is what I want. Yeah, that one's too big. You like the same two stickers I want? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, the Margaret Keene drop is kind of creepy. Some people don't like it. I think this work jacket is actually pretty nice. With the back hit right there. It doesn't say Supreme on the back. They sometimes do that whenever the front says Supreme. They'll take off the Supreme branding. I don't know. I think this in blue and gold looks all right. 138 too. Also, the uh, short sleeve denim shirt is not coming out. Okay, wow. So I was wrong. I guess Supreme Community had that short sleeve denim shirt releasing, but now it's not coming out. So no Bob Ross fit. I guess Supreme Drops was right on not including that in the drop list. Okay, CC has an important question. How do I fix Apple Pay on the app? It keeps asking for verification. 
Is your Apple app, when I ask you this, CC, is your Apple app, does it have the same address for billing and shipping? It needs to be the same, I think. I'm also really terrible at copying on mobile. I've had people tell me you gotta go mobile and then I have the same problems. I've heard PayPal tends to be better, but if someone in the chat that has experience copying with Apple Pay wants to help out our boy CC, let him know what's up font. Dude, I'm like probably passing this week, not gonna lie. I was kind of with you, like I think the best items are the Anorak and the Curve Jacket with the shorts. I think those are pretty nice, but I don't see anything like really going nuts immediately post drop. And I don't really need any of this stuff for personal. Like I do, I could always pick up some shorts, but like, do I need a pair of $110 shorts? I don't. Do I need any of this stuff? None of us do, but we love it. So we're still here. We're still talking about it. Can't miss the stream. Zebra pants could be kind of a sleeper, I think, Zane. I think zebra pants could actually do something. We can take a look at some of the other, like the toy machine. What are the toy machine leopard pants doing? Two twenty, one thirty-eight. I mean, this is not the exact same thing, but this came out earlier. It's a work pant, not a double knee. Pretty loud. I think Michael Taylor said, like in Japan, the super bold and bright pattern pants do pretty well. So I think in certain markets, in certain sizes, new subscriber, I think I just saw. Appreciate it, dude. Passing on this week, nothing really good. I'm kind of the same way, Charbel. Like there's always something to go after, but you might just pass. Memphis, triple zero. Do you think they'll remove the snake print pants from last week? Do I think they'll remove it? I forgot to do a what sold out last week, I think. Shit. Sorry guys, I missed out on that. I don't even remember the snakeskin pants. Yeah, these ones right here. Do I think they'll remove it? I have no clue, man. They flew in Japan. I have no clue when Supreme decides to remove stuff. You'd like to bundle it with the tea? Okay, I would add it to your cart then, man. I mean, it's fully in stock. I don't see why they would pull it from the site. Like typically they just leave stuff on there. What they tend to pull from the site is like accessories that don't sell out. Like I wanna say, ah, the pressure washer probably actually did sell out, but sometimes they'll remove accessories. They'll oftentimes after, after like two weeks or three weeks, some of the t-shirts that don't sell out, they will uh, pull. Yeah, Queen of Death said the Apple Pay problem is only on the Supreme app. I don't understand what happened there a few weeks ago when the season started. It worked totally fine. The Supreme app, guys, it's always been kind of trash. Like in the past, it was never even viable. Like copying on mobile, it hasn't been viable. It wasn't viable for a long time. I think before Apple Pay, like I want to say when I was copping Supreme in like 2016, like everyone was on desktop. There was also, it was also way harder to get anything that was hype because I don't know. I feel like there was almost more bots back then, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyone going for the crazy rolling stuff? Rolling, rolling, rolling. I ain't slept in weeks. Might get a records tee for the sticker, says Pyramid Pat. Yeah, well, you don't get the sticker based on what t-shirt you get. I've also found, guys, that during the time that they give out stickers for various t-shirts, I tend to get hooked up. Like, I think usually I'll buy like a t-shirt or two, and sometimes I'll get like three or four stickers. Could just be lucky, but I do feel like this week they will be a little generous on stickers which is nice you love to see that smooth soul gonna get the white painter tee for the reverse kobe grinches okay do we have a full color list let's see what else we got here 
UGK hat. It's not too bad for the Underground King fans. Trill as Patna's Return, Ride and Dirty, the raw version. That's kind of a cool back hit. Okay, that's kind of a low-key cool back hit. I literally got an MM6 poster and did not cop MM6. Dude, yeah, they do that. I used to get hella supreme posters for just random... Yeah, they just include them with your order. Usually if you buy a tea, they throw in a handful of stickers in there and the last few weeks the stickers have been weak. Yeah. The tea that I would get probably is that electromagnetic tea in like black or something. I think this guy's pretty dope. It's like an Indian god or some kind of warrior. I don't know, man. Super time, super TMS wand. It's crazy. It's a cool design. Supreme Brainiology. Halfway through the season, we need a vid on left to drop. That's a great point, Chris Troutman. And I'll have to do that. I'll write that down. Left to drop. Kind of things to target. Good point. Would love to go for the curved jacket, but need to save some money. Queen of Death gets it. It's always a good time to save some money, guys. Seriously. <laughs> And if you guys are serious about saving money and don't have a Robinhood app, I do have a referral code in my description to get you some free stocks. Couple, couple free signups in the description, nothing crazy, but it's always good in my opinion. Start investing. Supreme is good. Will it get you a retirement fund? Probably not. Is it fun to cop? Yes. But you gotta think long term here, folks. You gotta think. You gotta think long term. I think artist is Lu Yang. It is for the electromagnetic tea kimchi. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. It means a lot, guys. Appreciate all the new members too joining the community. I do have lots of plans for memberships here on the channel. I'm trying to dial in all the perks and stuff. I was uh, I saw Font Leroy got his memberships back on his channel. Might take a little page out of your book, bro. I like the idea of the exclusive giveaways and entries and stuff like that. Whatever it is, spice things up, make things interesting for uh, community members is definitely uh, on my radar right now. But yeah, in terms of the drop, like, you know, it's not a insanely hype drop when there's five minutes to go and I'm just like kind of chilling. You kind of can just feel it. And that's why, like, I'm probably not going after something but I'm gonna take a look at more of those colorways and see see what everything's looking like. Okay, so there is, is that the short sleeve denim shirt that actually is coming out or is it not? Because it's not on the drop list. It was on the drop list, I swear, and now it's not. Yeah, here it is. It's on left to drop. So it's not coming out this week. Okay. That's, uh, I guess, kind of weird. People got, I don't know, people got word that it was coming out. Purple UGK, only thing on my hit list today. Is there a purple UGK? Oh yeah, like the maroon, for sure. This hat right here. It's definitely not bad, dude. I like the embroidery on the front, the supreme hit, little crown. I think it's dope. Yeah, I could definitely see someone. I mean, if you want to go for a t-shirt, try to get some stickers. No t-shirt. Oh, okay. I don't see the t-shirt colorways. I haven't seen them posted. Usually supreme drops will do like mock-ups of all the colors. He didn't do that. Stay tuned for the entire color list. Do we have the color list? Maybe he drops by Jay has him. No. Might just skip. There's a purple tea. Okay. I believe you guys. Yeah, I don't see any of the other t-shirt colorways. Color list. Maybe I'm just missing it because I'm streaming. I can't see with my own eyes. 
Track set is cool though. Yeah, it is. The track set is definitely cool. For sure. Stickers aren't bad either. I feel like no one is gonna go for the Roland. I think Roland's gonna probably sit for a bit, but it could also be one of those things that's super, super low quantity and end up doing pretty decent. Yeah, left the drop list. There's some great stuff coming out. I mean, sudden death football jersey for me is super high up on the list. I think he only posted on Insta. Okay. What's up, Shady Munchie? The Mugen Power. Hypeland. Um, how do I search on here? Yeah, uh, some green drops. Mockups? Maybe on his story? Let's see here. This was cool. Actually, Margaret Keane, the artist who's still with us, I didn't know if she was with us or not, but she actually reposted Supreme Drops' thread on the whole Margaret Keane drop, which is super cool. I appreciate the stuff that Drops does with those threads. I mean, I don't know half the stuff that I see from him, like getting all the history and stuff. I think it's really cool. And that story about hers was so sad. Fucking husband was like uh, taking credit for her work for like 20 years. Will the track jacket resell well? I think maybe. I mean, we resell well is is a is a ambiguous question. I think it will resell. I don't know what the timeline will be. Like it might not immediately flip for 300 bucks, but I think eventually it will be worth more than what it retailed for. She passed in 2022. That That's super sad. So someone's just running her Instagram. That's sad. Damn. It sounds blurry. Is my sound bad? All right, mic check. Mic a little echo. Is that better? Sometimes this uh, US micro USB cable gets... Uh... Let me know if that's better. Better. Okay. Yeah, it's literally, it gets unplugged. I need a better mic eventually. Way better. Thank you guys. Yeah, please, if I ever get audio issues, just let me know ASAP. I will fix it right away. All right. It's about that time, folks. It's about that time, about that time. Here we go. Easy checkout day. I'm not going for anything. I'm just going to be looking at the site i think nike x supreme is in the fall for the darwins it could be it said spring summer we've had two nike drops before we'll see you still want the belt taco get the belt dude here we go guys there's the drop i think this guy xx large it's not bad it looks pretty good. Okay. Let's look at the Margaret Keene. Pretty nice. All right. Ooh, this one's pretty dope too. Wow, that pink shirt's actually super sick. I would cop that. 48 bucks for a tee. Not terrible. 700 is too much for my rich blood today. Yeah, dude too rich for my blood yeah you caught the double blue knees nice bro you guys are fast at checking out i swear the site loaded for me today though that's kind of good i'm not getting throttled today this shirt is crazy dude and all pink fastest checkout of my life yeah man the site loaded quick today there's probably less people on on the site that might be what's happening Electromagnetic tea is pretty sick. Let's see that uh, blue or purple UGK that someone was talking about. This one's dope. Super tight. 
Let's look at the shorts. Curvy nylons. Yeah, that's a nice short. I like the embroidery too. Back zip pocket. Very nice. Big pimpin' spending. Jeez. Hell yeah. Cotton cinch pants. I found that the pants guys fit incredibly big. Like I, I would probably get a small and I don't even know the sizing. Let's look at them. Cotton cinch pants. I think cotton cinch pants are really nice. I think I'm wearing some cotton cinches right now. The dagger pants from like 2017. What is the sizing? Cotton cinch pants. Here we go. Small waist is 28. Okay. So I had to get a large then for 32 inseam length. 31 fourth. All right. Anything sell out? The dead week. Yeah, I kind of agree, Finnis. Kind of a dead week, but that's okay. We did not get that short sleeve painter. It was fake news, folks. Don't believe track jacket flu. Did it. Ooh, it's gone. Yep, that was the one to go for. Anyone cop the track jacket? Your Apple Pay was bugging out, but you copped. What'd you get, Memphis? The board is the nicest artwork I've seen in a long time. Which one? The one with the Supreme hit or the all over Margaret Keene, the best friends? They got to cool it with these $78 skateboards, man. I, I get it. 18 bucks extra tax for a collab. I don't know if it warrants it just a house for margaret ugk t and snake print chino hell yeah bro thrifted trail two track jacket and matching purple anorak and pants that's a great cop dude that's a super solid cop and i mean just because i'm passing guys doesn't mean that there's no resale that's not not what i mean at all this guy purple anorak is doing pretty well 178 pretty cheap for an anorak Plaid and black, best colorways. Makes sense. Probably won't see any t-shirts really sell out. Maybe like one colorway of like one or two styles will go. Let's see. Is anyone copping Roland? Come on, Roland. I pass it drop time. Best color for electromagnetic. Ooh, let's look at that. And do, is this best color for resale, Chrononaut, or best color in my opinion? Best color, in my opinion, is probably the pink one is, is super loud and, and crazy, but I think black looks really good. Black always looks really good, though. Red is definitely the worst. You can't really see the character because he is red. Ash gray. Gray shirts never do terribly well. I think there's still maybe some hype for a brown shirt. Do these colors go for it? I think for reselling, man, you want yourself this double XL in the black, maybe double XL in pink. I don't know. I would say get an oversized, oversized uh, black design. Second week in a row, I typed my email wrong. Bro, you got to get your email on autofill, Jackie. Come on, man. Eddie Zappa copped two pinline shirts. Marquise Crown Kick Stevens copped. A large Margaret Keane tee black and large bright blue pinline tee. Fuck yeah. For someone who skates the boards... For someone who skates, the boards are about the same price as normal primitive, so if you're not going to use it, yeah, overpriced. Yeah, okay. I guess you're right. Dude, primitive has some cool skateboards, has some cool skateboards too, man. Some like Dragon Ball stuff. They have cool collabs. Both Roland, Sola EU. What did you cop, Florian? That's crazy in Europe that they sold out. I guess Europe has like a huge music scene. I mean, so does America though, so I don't know. I really like the colorway or the colors on this one. The light pink, I think looks really good with that graphic. Brown and blue is kind of wild. Didn't go for anything. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. So it looks like the track jacket in purple was the best to go for. Cotton Anorak will sell out pretty soon. Small and medium. Let's see what else. Anything else go? 
so far nothing quite yet no ugk stuff okay ugk is selling out for the crew necks or the sweatshirts in black got a nice box logo right there the analog head def went crazy for the tr08 absolutely bro analog stuff is sick in this digital world that we live in got the keen work shirt in black for personal nice man that's dope black and purple ugk shirts are going could see that for sure where are those guys at there's the purple small and medium yep small yeah yeah purple's been a nice color recently which i dig i love purple brown maybe losing some relevancy i don't know white stays doing its thing as being the brick colorway but we already knew that damn tunnels being the same color pin line is different colors let's see supreme records this little strawberry shirt's not terrible but no one is really going for the supreme records man got the collage purple black tee nice dude purple ugk and blue ugk hey dude got some ugk fans in the chat love to see that hell yeah let's see zebra pants come on zebra pants no they're bricks guys if you copped them you lost it's a brick are you really being throttled dude that sucks that's usually my problem i'm the one getting throttled over here What's crazy is that that track jacket sold out, but the shorts are still hella available. That's kind of weird. You'd think more people would go for the full fit. I got the zebras they will sell here. Yeah, dude, do it. Fucking cop it. Let's see Cotton Cinch. Man, sitting. I think this is a sleeper, guys. I think these pants are a sleeper for sure. Kind of basic, you know, you get one supreme hit, but you know, the piece is in its its full design. But that's pretty much the drop, guys. Best thing to go after was that curve jacket. Did anyone grab the curve jacket in pink? Lilac? That was the one to go for. Oh, blue UGK hat sold out. Okay. All the UGK hats sold out. Nice. You think track jacket resell high? I don't think initially, Tony. I don't think it'll resell for a ton. We can definitely check StockX and see if people start listing it. Let's see if it's on the site yet. But I think eventually it'll do well. Definitely come. This is about what I expected. So people are listing it at 250. I think it'll probably drop down to like this one 216 price 215 but eventually this will definitely be sought after and i always say to predict resale prices it's important to look up previous track jackets to kind of get an understanding of where the market could be it's always going to be slightly different but here's like an embroidered spell out track jacket from 23 I guess it's kind of different though. This is what I don't get. Like the last sale price was 209 and then the, the prices that people listed at are just not even ever. Like who's going to buy this for 689? No one. Black track jacket sold out. Nice. FYI, OJ Simpson died. Really? Really? Is that live? Is that my first? No way. R.I.P. to O.J. Simpson, dude. Fuck. That's a new uh, streamer moment, guys. Someone in chat told me about a celebrity death. You know what? R.I.P. to O.J. Simpson. He was really the best Ford Bronco driver of all time. Damn. R.I.P. to the boy. R.I.P. to O.J. Let's out of respect. Let's let's check him out. His greatest moment of all time. Absolutely crushing it. 
let's be honest though anytime i see a ford bronco i'm always like damn that's a good looking suv you know they don't make them like they used to 20 police cruisers and nine helicopters are any of you guys old enough to have seen this live like this was definitely before my time what was this 91 i think There was so much TV coverage that some TV signals began appearing on the wrong channels. You don't like the newer Broncos? I do like the newer Broncos. The newer Broncos are really nice. I think the old ones are cooler. Especially when you see them like out here in Arizona. The uh, There's a lot of people that love like retro SUVs out here. And there's people that do insane builds on, on like Broncos and stuff. And I've seen, you know, at a couple car shows a couple uh, Broncos that look super sick. But yeah, RIP to OJ. 94. Appreciate that, Michael Taylor. Sad news, but you know, you got you have to you have to cover it. You have to uh, acknowledge. I'm gonna get a drink of water really quick, guys. Hold up. Fun fact, car sales went up on that car. Or sales went up. Yeah, dude. It was a lot of free advertising for Ford. Okay, guys. That's pretty much Supreme Drop. Purple Anorak sold out. Black still available. About to sell out. Let's see. We'll do one last look. Black track jacket. Purple. Brown sold out. Margaret King work shirt. I'm telling you. This one was going to sell out. I uh, could have could have told you that. Natural women's history kind of slaps. Apparently that's not even from the from a women's history museum. It's like a brand. I have no idea. Someone told me in the comments that women's history museum is a brand. Like an underground streetwear brand. Yeah, this design's pretty cool and natural. Yeah, that could actually be a, a solid shirt over time. I can see that. What else we got? UGK. Hoodie. About to sell out. I swear, back in the day, a small used to, uh, used to sell out first. All right, later, Memphis. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Thank you for being a member. You guys want to look at Palace next? We can also take a look at the Kith Columbia. I haven't even looked at the drop yet. T-shirts. Yeah, none of the t-shirts. Okay. Nope. None of the t-shirts sold out. Small box. Obviously personal. Margaret King had some really interesting interviews in a movie about her. Yeah, I found out about the, about the movie by Tim Burton. Does anyone know a good Stussy drop list page? That's a great question, Florian Peter. I I do not. But I'm sure someone in the chat does. I know Fauntleroy's Discord always posts, like Larry always posts the drop list for everything coming out from like every brand ever. So if you're in his Discord, they usually will do drop lists and just what's coming out. <laughs> but I don't really cover Stussy. Maybe I should. All right, and the hat's sold out. Roland's still sitting, and the skateboard's still sitting. Very cool. Is it palace time, guys? I think it might be. I think I need a better... I'll go switch over to the palace logo right here, and then... Will this size work? It's a little small. Okay, if I click on the items, it actually works. So here we go. Palace drop list. We got the mesh team jersey in gray. All right. It's all right, I guess. I don't love the colorway. I think the black one might be the nicest one. Number eight. I've seen better designs from Palace, but it's not terrible. The palace logo in here. Come on now. Look at that. We got the overlays. 
overlays for days. Fuck milk, yes. Fuck cheese, no. I mean, why are they releasing this damn quilted jacket in in April? I guess it's just terrible weather in the UK, huh? Is it just freezing there right now? What's the temperature in London right now? London, England weather. What is it? 65 right now? It's pretty warm. That's not bad, dude. What are you doing, Palace? What are you doing releasing these mesher jackets? Jersey in red. The dragon hoodie. Is there a dragon hoodie coming out? Let's take a peek. From Palace? Try dragon. Okay. Ooh, 100% dragon bits. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I remember seeing this on the on the preview. I dig it. Big Triferg on the back. I wish this palace community page, I could just immediately go to the next item. What do you guys think of these Fumper P90 baggy jeans? Kind of cool. Got the little vintage artwork right there. The little bunny. Looks like something you'd see at a Goodwill. But put on some jeans. This one's kind of cool too. You get the matching work shirt with the jeans. You can sort by a category. It's more cleaned up. Okay, let's do that. Um... Oh yeah, right on. I see that. We'll just start by the category. Appreciate that, Florian. The mesh shorts. Eh. These are okay, I guess. What do palace shorts usually cost? I just don't love the colorways of the jerseys, really. They're okay. Probably the black one is the best. I just don't love the... I don't love this contrast color too much. OJ Simpson died from cancer. Yeah. We just talked about that. That's super sad, man. RIP to the homie. Absolute legend. This one. Dragons. Are, it's all right. I wish the dragons were a different color on the blue one. Let's see. Black one. Ooh, black and red. This one's pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Shirt is better than the jeans. Okay. For the bunny, I'm assuming. Let's see the black and got the Halloween special. The black and orange. Little logo looks cool. That little embroidery 2024 PAL finals, I think is what it says. That's cool. And then the shirts. An eggshell. Ich got the brains, you got the looks. Let's smoke lots of bunny. I love smoking bunny with my boys. Yes, for Thumper. Thumper, dude. They don't want to call it Thumper. They got to call it Thumper. Palace is always on their own little game right there with their, with their naming. It's okay. I wish there was more coming out. I think the best item is this Tri Dragon hoodie, for sure. Yeah, definitely. And then we got uh, Kith Columbia. I want to take a look, see. Let's take a look. The Kith Columbia. We might have to do a whole new. Let's do this one. Maybe? Mmm. Stock X? Nope. Nope. I guess that's the best way to look at it and just make it a little smaller. There we go. I'm way too OCD about my overlays, guys. I want I want it to look clean. Here is the Kith uh, drop list once I figure this out. Hide that guy. 
Okay, that looks good enough. Kith for Columbia, we got this guy. This is the Wind Anorak. Why is it that Kith Dropless always looks so flat? They look so fake. I don't know what it is. When they when they lay out their products, they just look almost too straight. Uh, chosen one. We did not go for anything today, no. If I were to get something, it would have been that curved track jacket, but we didn't go for anything. I think a lot of people skipped this week. Definitely still some resale. Definitely still some cool items. But nothing I was really immediately feeling. Okay, we got a dome tent and a and an um I can't talk this morning. And a hammock. Hammock's kind of cool. It's actually not that bad. 125, I feel like a hammock is probably about the same. 100 bucks. Get you a Kith Columbia hammock. Tent will probably resell. That's a, I really like this topographic camo right there. That actually looks super sick. How big is it? Dome tent. Four person? Dude, I bought a four person tent at Walmart this year for about 220 bucks. Like this is not bad. Columbia tent. Pretty cool. ARD. That looks sick, dude. This is a sick tent, man. I mean, if I didn't have a tent and I was looking for one, I would absolutely cop this. Packable throw blanket. 95. I mean, camping stuff is expensive. I mean, if this really is like Columbia shit, I mean, they're a solid brand. Alpine Research Division. Is that kits or... No, that's Columbia's Alpine Research Division. Okay. That's pretty cool. Trekking poles. I've always kind of wanted to get some trekking poles. When I'm on a, like a super long hike and I see people with the poles out, I'm like, damn, those look pretty nice. Some cork right there. I like the colorways. They're super bright. What are these camping supplies? What do we got here? Military grade aluminum cylinder composite. Oil-based compass cap, four-mode LED lanterns, water-resistant, whistle fire starter kit, okay, four-hour beeswax candle, wire saw, one-liter water bag, fishing tackle, barbed hooks, you got some fishing gear in here, a bobber, I'd love more pictures of this though, okay, here it is, you get a little compass, zip ties i mean this is pretty cool definitely like you know some smaller stuff but in terms of if you really had a small back or a small pack and you wanted to carry the most amount of stuff out i think that's pretty cool but yeah guys probably talk about the rest of the columbia drop maybe call it after that if you're gonna head out now appreciate you guys watching pretty much all Supreme has been covered. We looked at Palace and now just kind of flipping through the the Columbia drop and Kith and, and just kind of chilling. What else do we got here? Shop more. How do I get back to the collection? Kith Monday program. Oh, wow. The Benchmade knife. That's sick, dude. Is that a real Damascus knife? Stainless steel. Is it actual Damascus, though? Tonto Blade is sick too. 395, bro. Fuck me. You get a way cheaper knife than that. I mean, this knife, my friend gave it to me. But this artisan cutlery knife that I have right here that I use in my videos is actual Damascus. And I think this knife brand new is like 200 bucks. I've always wanted a Damascus knife, though. I think it's mad sick. And I also love that it makes super nice clicky sounds. Great shape. But damn, 300, 400 bucks for a fucking Tonto blade. I mean, it's cool. What was this guy? Station knife. Four, 500 bucks, dude. Get the smoke and crack, man. Absolutely smoking crack with that. 
what's this thing multi-tool is sold out is this stuff available to purchase right now oh this is all available this dropped today oh yeah i forgot for some reason i thought kith dropped on fridays but it drops today this is out right now so go get the kith stuff now i guess folks i guess i killed the drop list i was gonna do a video on it but Water bottle sold out. That makes sense. 25 bucks. I will say Kith sometimes does have some cheap things. I don't know in this uh, post Stanley era why you would ever want a Nalgene water bottle when you can get a Yeti or a Stanley or anything that has like vacuum sealed and actually stays cold for more than 20 minutes when it's hot outside. But I guess for colder climates, you don't really need that. The shoes sold out. Ronnie Feig, Clark's Originals. Is that Columbia? No, I don't think so. Or this is Monday program. Where the fuck is the Columbia drop, man? I want to look at the whole... Man, Kith's website fucking kills me sometimes. Kith, Columbia. Columbia Preview. All right, it does come out on Friday. So they released some stuff early and some stuff has yet to come out. Okay. There's something that feels weird to me about a brand premium on actual outdoor gear that you'd legitimately use, but that's personal. That topographical design is nice. Music has full temp. Yeah, Bo, I mean, you hit the nail on the head, man. When it comes to these kind of collaborations for outdoors gear, it's never really for people that actually buy this stuff. It's more the people that like kind of want to get into outdoorsy stuff, in my opinion, but kind of are more concerned with the looks of the items. They'll tell you that they're getting it for the it's really functional. But at the end of the day, they're just kind of a hype beast at heart and there's nothing wrong with that. Appreciate that thrifted trail. Yeah, OK, so some of the stuff released a little early other stuff is coming out later but yeah like is this stuff like this stuff is just expensive columbia it's all it is it's columbia teaming up with the a streetwear brand and and i'm cool with that you know i think it's cool the wind anorak is pretty sick not gonna lie the the anorak might be better than the supreme one this year or this week i don't know i kind of like it i kind of like the one sleeve design I think it's sick. Zane, I think I know some of the Supreme Weeks left. Champion, Dickies, Nike, Sunglasses, Summer Tees. That's definitely... Yeah, dude. 100%. We might get a Spring Timberland drop. It's happened before. The Wind Shorts. This jacket, though, is super dope. This is the best piece, in my opinion. The Madison jacket. And I think a lot of people... Yeah, this is crazy, dude. This is dude. This is super sick. Kith one is definitely higher quality. Yeah, I've heard some people though say like, "Oh, dude, Kith's Kith stuff is is shit." Like compared to Arteryx, and it's like no shit. Like it's not gonna be the same thing as like getting a nice Arteryx or even a higher level Gore-Tex stuff. What up, Mob Syndicate? I'm here. I'm in in here late. I had to cop. Had to come to Zebras. How to cop zebras? Hell yeah, bro. We didn't cop anything today. We just kind of passed. Looking at the kith drop. Yellow anorak is kind of crazy. Or this Madison. Madison jacket. Is there a removable hood? It looks like it. Let's see if it says it though. Removable hood. It doesn't look like it. Adjustable hood. Okay. What up, CTR2? Did you cop anything today, baby? The Kith collabs are solid. Kith brand only will be different, of course. Yeah. I agree, man. I do think Kith can, can go a little crazy sometimes on their prices. It's all good, bro. You did not miss much. If you look on the site right now, a couple things sold out. Track jacket sold out. But right now, we're just kind of chilling. Looking at this Kith drop. Coming out tomorrow at 11 patchwork liner not terrible it's kind of nice nylon and polyester 
I do like these pictures. The kids' pictures are always kind of crazy. Super edited, but they look dope. They style it well. Their photo shoots are always like super, super curated. Like hella curated. Sherpa vest is actually kind of sweet too, but it's a vest. Damn, this is dope. This might be my favorite, dude. The utility vest, bro. That would be sick. Going like fly fishing or something. I would actually love this, man. This is super usable for like a legit backpacking trip. Yes, you can get something similar to this for a fraction of the price, but it looks sick. It looks super dope. Ooh, are they coming out with, with like titanium camp wear? That would be cool. Yep, UGK hat sold out. Couple other things sold out. Oh my god, is there a fucking butterfly net coming out? That'd be hilarious, dude. We got the wind pants right here to match the top. Sherpa shorts. Backpack would be sick, too. I feel like a backpack could kind of do numbers. Okay, look at this guy. This will probably sell out right here. I could see this going, this long sleeve. Polyester, Omnifreeze, Zero Ice, Advanced Cooling Technology. Allows you to keep cool and dry through all day activity. Nice. So this is like a hot, something you'd wear in the summer to keep from being like too hot. Protect from the sun. Probably also good for the cold, like for layering. RIP OJ, dude. Yeah, we talked about that too. Fucking crazy. RIP to the best Ford Bronco driver out there. Williams hoodie. Pretty cool. Oh, this is dope, dude. Look at this guy. Lake Tahoe. If I was going after anything to resell next week or tomorrow for Kith, I might go after this. The thing is, I don't know where people sell Kith mostly. Do they go after... Um, do they go on like StockX a lot? Or eBay? I just don't see where a lot of Kith changes hands. That Supreme Cooler bag that's still left to drop is great for camping too. I'll take a look at that. I kind of forget. Is that the one that had like the beers in it? Redwood. That's neat. Little Redwood on there. Well, man, a little Redwood. It's a big tree in real life. eBay and StockX, but it's hit or miss. Yeah. Big Spur, Yosemite. Yosemite is cool. If they copped like a Zion, or if they did a Zion one or like an Arizona one, that would be sick. I'm still kind of kicking myself for not going to the Kith pop-up that was in Scottsdale a couple months ago. I almost went to it. I, was, I think I was busy that morning or something. Big Sur, Yosemite, Garden of Life. What is this? Nelson crew neck? It's kind of cool. 175 ARD long sleeve T. This stuff is very good, just not hyped enough. Yeah. I mean, a lot of this stuff is like for personal. Some of it will probably resell like the right items. But I think a lot of kit stuff maybe just sells out and then doesn't really resell. I don't know. Or it's like hard to resell it maybe. I like this Eagle shirt though. That's kind of dope. But am I like wrong, guys? Do some of their like, like when you look at this shirt, it looks fake. There's just something about it, man. Like when you compare it to a Supreme shirt, this looks like a real shirt. It's got wrinkles in it. It looks normal. Kith makes their shirts, bro. Like this looks fucking normal. This looks irregular. It looks weird. Sleeper pick of today, dude. I think was the uh, was the anorak. Either the anorak or the cotton cinch pants. The Kith Tokyo was very difficult to buy. Oh, I bet, dude. I mean, Kith, I feel like also gets really botted, like heavily. They've had Shopify on their site forever, and they've never really done anything to prevent that. These are sick, dude. I would love some new glasses or some... Yeah, some new sunglasses to play pickleball in. 
but I'm not spending this kind of money on these. That's so Y2K, bro. I love it. They use glass to press their garments. Dude, I can't believe you know that. And that's amazing. Backpack. Dude, 195 is a really good price. I feel like that's not even really taxed. Yeah, this backpack's gonna sell out for sure, dude. For sure. I'm a photographer. That's right. Hell yeah. Yeah, this backpack is sick. I think the blue one is the best, like the green one. Like a red backpack's just kind of crazy. Same thing with yellow. It just doesn't look too natural. Yeah, this green stuff. Blue and green looks really good. We got a crossbody bag. 95 bucks. That's not terrible. It's a good drop. I keep clicking off of it. It's a good drop. Bright yellow, red. Fanny pack too. Let's look at the fanny. 65. Not horrible. Yeah, I think the blue stuff is the coolest in my opinion. Utility bucket hat. I just don't love the I don't love bucket hats with the with the strap on it, but I guess for this one, it makes a lot of sense for them to have the strap on it. It is really focused on like an outdoors thing. I remember the Kith BMW Motorsport collab was sick. Yeah, dude, I have that. I have the Kith Motorsport. Um, I have the artwork. Let's go to StockX. I'll show you what I got. Kith uh, BMW poster. This was the one thing that I copped from them. Um, Kith X BMW poster. Yeah, when they released an M4... I thought that was super sick. Yeah, I have this guy right here. I have it framed in my wall. It was the only thing I copped from it. I got some hand towels too. I copped the BMW hand towels. And that was it. it just like imagine some microfiber hand towels. That's what they were. I can't find them right now. They're pretty cool. But yeah, Kith does some really cool collabs. I just kind of always forget about them. Like when it comes to covering them on the channel, I'm like, I'll make my Supreme videos, maybe one or two, a couple sneaker reviews. I also have another sneaker review coming. I copped the Fear of God Adidas Indiana Hoosiers, which are pretty sick. I'm actually pretty stoked to... Uh, edit that video probably won't get a lot of views but i had to cop for the the alma mater these shoes aren't bad too what are they made of uh tpu all weather i want to see the soul man i wouldn't get the suede ones though suede outdoor shoes makes no sense Yep, that's the kith drop though. What else is coming out? We got anything else cool happening this week, guys? Let's see what we got here. We can go over to the Discord. Go to the Fauntleroy disc. So yeah, I need to do a fucking left to drop video. I need to do some other stuff. I want to do a video about companies that take forever to fucking ship stuff i still haven't got my yeezys my yeezy pods in yet and i just think that's kind of crazy sorry for the terrible uh website or terrible let's see streetwear news here we go unique low jw anderson that's way old let's see this week Columbia Research Division, 412, Palace, I've already looked at that, Supreme, Kith and Oakley, okay, Michelin Ness, XWWE, that was this week, or last week, let's look at the low-key brands, Fucked, 4-5, okay, that was, 
I feel like a lot of these low-key brands do like really cool anime collabs and I always miss them. The Canvas Dawn Odd Future. What is this? Look at that later. That looks kind of cool. A message from the stray rats. Sonic still goes on evolving. 417. Trap Star? Never heard of Trap Star. Oh, this released yesterday. Anti Social Social Club. Yeah, I guess the, the fours are shock dropping today. Yeah. I'll probably go for the shock drop. I think for fours and like Jordans lately, it's uh it's key to get on those shock drops if you wanna if you wanna resell them. But if you're copping for retail then or just to for personal, obviously just whatever you can get your hands on. Not a ton of low-key drops happening. Spider World. Pleasures and half baked. Pleasures is pretty cool. I've never really looked at them too much. Full release Friday, 3 p.m. EST. That's kind of cool. It's like some Lego shit. Have a good rest of your day, Thomas and Chat. Hey, Jackie FTP. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for being a member. Have a great day, man. Take care. We're probably going to wind down the stream here, too. Unless you guys have anything else you want to talk about. I'm happy to talk about whatever. But yeah, overall thoughts. Like, Supreme this week, guys, it was alright. Like, it was okay. There was definitely some stuff to be had. Let's see what sold out. The Anorak ended up selling out in purple and black. Still available in a couple sizes in gold. The track jacket sold out in every color besides that orange. The Margaret Keen short sleeve work shirt actually sold out too. UGK hoodie sold out in every single colorway. All over Margaret Keen still sitting. Small box shirts all sitting. Let's see what the snakeskin ended up doing. Still available, all sizes. Margaret Keen t-shirt. No Miss Piggy shirt. People were saying Miss Piggy was coming out. I was like, I I never know what's coming out. So when people start saying stuff, I'm like, okay, maybe that'll come out. Maybe it won't. But yeah, no Miss Piggy shirt yet. But usually that's how it goes. They usually don't release stuff from the preview for spring or summer tees. Usually spring and summer tees are always completely unique styles that we haven't seen before. So I think Miss Piggy will come out well, it'll come out later, obviously. Cotton cinch pants. I think these are the sleeper. CTR, you were asking. Sleeper pick. I think these cotton cinch pants are pretty sleeper. They're just sitting right on the site. Let's take a look at these. These guys are pretty sleeper. Um, hold up. Let me see if I can get my... Uh, There we go. These guys, I think, sit on the site. Probably shouldn't be. I think those are still pretty dope. Zebra pants. I mean, Michael Taylor said these are going to absolutely bang in Japan. Oh, Palace logo. What are you doing there, bud? Get out of there. I think those are pretty sick. Zebra pants. I personally wouldn't cop them, but people like them. UGK shirt actually sold out in purple. I think that's the only t-shirt that sold out is that one colorway other shirts were kind of kind of all right electromagnetic was kind of sick i can't believe these nylon shorts are sitting especially because the matching set is uh sold out like the tops so it's kind of weird that these are sitting okay the black ones are actually almost sold out so i'd say the black ones were the best shorts to go after leopard i did not like these at all ugk hats sold out roland still sitting and the skateboard still sitting that's pretty much it guys i hope you all enjoyed again stay tuned for future content on the channel yeah we got fear of god adidas indiana hoosiers coming out soon i dropped my one piece collaboration or one piece review 
of the Puma One Piece Luffy's. I'd appreciate if you guys check out that video if you haven't already. Damn, Thomas, the FOMO just doesn't hit the same when the shirts aren't fire. I agree. Queen of Death, have a great day. Thank you for watching. I'll post my link to my own video in my own chat, just in case you guys haven't checked it out. That is the, uh, the One Piece Luffy Puma shoes. I thought those were pretty sick. Undefeated Ryukyu, first week I passed and everything. Yeah, bro. I mean, I've passed, I think, on two weeks now. Two or three weeks. But, yeah. That's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Appreciate it, guys. Peace.